So this vlog might go over the weekend, starting today on Thursday. So a little update on the motor, it's tossed. Um, I think it was grinding down the cylinders or the piston rings, either one, and uh, all of the metal bits inside my oil pan look like glitter. It was pretty bad. So I call the wrecker and uh, they have an M60 sitting around and I, I'm either gonna be picking up today or tomorrow and hopefully swapping over the weekend. Uh, they have a pretty good warranty on the motor, so 180 day, so I'm gonna swap it in, beat the piss out of it, and hopefully it lasts. I also wanna try and blow it up before the warranty so I can get reimbursed or get another motor for free. The current motor that I'm looking at right now from the yard, they wanted only like 300 bucks for it. I think it's a pretty good deal, but the motor has like over 200,000 miles on it. But from what I read up, the M60 actually was beefed up inside, so the chain guides lasted longer on them than the M62s. I'm still worried though because I had a uh, one of the guys at my work pull up a Carfax on the car itself. I had an accident twice. It got rear-ended once, and then the last accident it was in, it got hit from the front. I don't know what kind of damage I could be getting myself into. Hopefully it's... The picture of the car, it didn't look that bad on the front-end collision, but the motor has been sitting for like over five years. So hopefully it's not seized up or anything. So the reason I want, I'm not trying to go back for another M62 is because I don't feel like converting it over to OBD1 again. With the M60, I can just throw it in and have no problem. And from what I've read, you can get a performance chip for it and it'll actually perform almost as good as the M62. But the difference between the two motors is like, 10 horsepower and 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque, which I don't feel like would be that much of a difference because the, the car is already light. So my friend Dimitri's coming over right now and uh, since the motor's junk, I'm gonna give him the cam pickup that I made. In exchange for it, he's gonna give me a M60 intake because uh, when I called the yard, they said that there is damage to the intake. So I just stumble upon something great while taking everything apart to get the cam pickup. I had an oil leak inside. I had an oil leak inside the valve cover. So now I can use my coils as uh, dipsticks. So I got most of the motor prepped. Take it out. I'm probably gonna take it out tomorrow or the next day. I still need to disconnect the drive shaft, the motor mounts, and uh, the power steering lines for it to come out. Other than that. Probably gonna call it a day. I'm probably gonna continue either tomorrow or the next day. I think tomorrow I'm gonna actually go pick up the M60 and I'll probably try and do a compression test on it to see if it's a good motor. So right now I'm on my way to BNR Auto Wrecking. I'm gonna go pick up the other motor. I brought all I really brought was a tire and some straps to bring it back, and then I brought um, a socket so I could turn the motor to see if it has see if it sounds like it has compression and then to see if it's seized up because um because i'm not sure how long it's been sitting so it's kind of scaring me but yeah so i'm here at bnr auto wrecking i'm about to pick up the motor so i'm pretty stoked there's actually some stuff i can probably sell off the motor because i already have it at my house and the hole they were talking about is actually right there the harness so i thought it was an actual valve cover so far I got the motor torn down, um, I can't find any metal bits in it, so, so far so good. I just learned that uh, these motors are actually double road chain, so that gives me like a little bit more security that it'll be more reliable. Because my other, the motor that went out has a single row. So I'm going to start getting the motor out. So over the weekend, I got the other motor out. I didn't really film anything, but I got the other motor in, and I just needed to put some accessories on in the intake manifold. 
and I should be able to turn it over. So I just got done at O'Reilly's. I just needed to go to Albertsons and pick up some distilled water so I can mix the coolant, and then I should be able to try and turn over the motor tonight. Okay, so I have all the fluids now in order to start the motor. So now I just need to pour them in and then go for it. Okay, so now I'm just to the last step where I need to put the power cable to the starter and then I can try and start it. So I got the two power cables together right there. Okay, so I'm gonna prime the oil real quick. That way I don't spin a bearing when I, it actually starts. So the oil is primed. I just primed the fuel pump. So let's see if it starts right up. Woo! Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this vlog. Um. I actually pushed in the clutch when the clutch slave was out, so I broke the slave cylinder, so I can't even drive the car now. So I have to wait until that gets in the mail. I'll probably vlog putting the car back together and prepping it and stuff, and then uh, when the slave cylinder gets here, start trying to go have fun in the car and stuff, and take some videos of it, pulls and stuff. So that wraps it up for this one.